paying for a pickup truck on the front is a fifth wheel connection. Hmm. So we're here in the State Farm Stadium. We're in the Arizona Cardinal uh, playing most of those football team. This is it. And there we're having the RV show. RV is designed for camping and it's like a home away from home. Very big. These are designed for like very simple weekend kind of camping or maybe for a week, not long extended stays. But typically yeah, fitted for spending more of your time outside in the camper. It has a very small money. Oh yeah, so cute. Let us see what is inside. So then you've got a little dinette area, U-shaped in the front, which is kind of good use of space. A lot of times that's where they'll put the bed in a trailer. But mm -hmm. the beds are in the and back. you convert into a bed. Yeah, you this can. absolutely. This part, yeah. But then in the back, you'll notice it has two full-size bunk beds. So you could fit oh. essentially six people in here. Yeah. So obviously a lot smaller, but the idea is to give you something to enjoy being away where you're not in a tent, but you have the amenities you need. Simple bathroom. Cute. Enough sleeping. Mm, and good for cabin. one person. Shower. Oh, yeah. I mean this shower room. Shower. Oh, you have enough space for your... Uh, but here is where you've got to be careful choosing an RV with good materials because you'll notice I don't know how old this is it looks like a used vehicle but this door is already bowing it's got a curve uh -huh. here. you'll see it doesn't you'll see it doesn't fit flush see you see the gap at the top and then the gap at the bottom it doesn't it doesn't lay flush and that's just the nature of the inexpensive materials that are used in some of these constructions so you have to pay attention to things like that so the price is 27 for 119 for the show. i want to get in so this is another rv look at those leather seats the color makes it more fancy Oh, I didn't know you were inside. Yep. <laughs> the televisions that makes it more interesting. This is fascinating because you usually don't see a television in the kitchen space, but it's nice because it faces away from both of the captain's chairs, or not captain's chairs, but the uh, theater seating that's set up here in both positions. So you've got two theater style seats that both recline. Yeah. So they cram a lot into this little space because they use this whole back end for utility. I love you that notice. space kind, face to face here. something. You could have so back here, in here. one room and everything. Mm, the same thing, the idea. So back here is your utility section. Turn around and you will notice there's hookup for your washer and dryer back here. So this whole area is designed to be to use for another purposes nice mm -hmm. and it's got like a Quick. loft of some kind up here oh there's another space so you could put a twin bed or something up there really yeah another place to sleep yeah this excites us every now and then because we have idea what to do next so this is one of the bedroom this is how exactly look like this is one of the small simple rv it's called a fifth wheel fifth wheel fifth wheel okay it mounts into the back to a hitch in the back bed of the pickup truck okay let's move on so honey i want to see the front fortune 
this is the comfort room this is the sink this is the shower room and look it is hiding the ball is hiding this is the kitchen so you can see in things like this this is a toy hauler trailer so this is another kind of trailer right. the idea is RV the toys that you will bring are things like sand rails, ATVs, motorcycles, things like that that you use when you go out. Typically what they call boondocking where you're not connected to anything except what you contain within your own trailer. And here of course is with the beds that are in the put down position. But in this area, if you'll look on the floor, you'll notice tie down rings for your equipment. So mm. you, that back wall folds down to make a ramp. And when that ramp is down, you bring in your vehicles and you tie them to these anchor points for secure transport. So this is $45,368. $45,368. So they have different kind of style. And this is the shower room. It is quite good. And this is the queen size bed. And this area is very neat that I really always want. There's a stove, microwave, and the refrigerator. That's what's called a residential style refrigerator. <laughs> as if I can live here forever and just put on the backyard, <laughs> mom. <laughs> is it? And this thing, this is the area which I always love to work. This is the best kind of RV. Look at the style. Different configuration, but you can see how the bed stow. This one is laid on its side, but it would also flip up. Yeah, this is the very much the same thing like the bed that we had shown. And now they put it on the upper portion just to let this open. Stowed position, yeah. Oh, there's bring, another bed here. And then you would bring your, yes, like the other one, they come together and make one giant bed across the entire thing. And this is made out of leather. Yeah. Quality. Yeah, leather or a pleather. The quality is good. So. Designed to be stowed up so you can make room for your vehicles. Uh -huh. So even this table is freestanding and you fold it down and stow it somewhere else. The idea is to make room for all of your toys. So here's your kitchen. The kitchen? A little different. The other one was a long A very good space here. Shape. And here's your bathroom. My future bathroom. Oh. Double access mm -hmm. from the bedroom yes. and from the hallway. This looks like a king size bed. Oh, yeah. I love the flooring and you love the ceiling. Here's where you can do your combined washer dryer. Right inside here. Inside the closet right off the master bed. Very true. Umbrellas or maybe a small awning that would come across. I can easily fill up this fridge. It's all amazing. The dining table. The kitchen and the much awaited king size bedroom. Everything that you need is all here. And this is the television facing the bedroom. And look at this part that is the sink. It's a beautiful combination colors everywhere. This is the shower room. And where you can find at the back is the washing area. I call it RV Hotel. Yeah, RV Hotel. I think this is the washroom on the back of the RV.
Now my beauty is very fine. Thank you for watching.